hey crypto growth fam how's it going this is your host shazib signing in in this video we'll be looking at a potential gem named lf0 it is a layer one project which is being highlighted in various social media handles as well as uh, uh, YouTube and crypto space in general. So we're going to be scrutinizing what uh, LF0 is all about, A0 its sticker. So uh, make sure to stay tuned and watch till the end uh, as we'll uh, dive and dig deeper into it. And, if, and for those of you who are new to the channel, folks, we primarily discuss utility coins in this channel. If you're interested in them, uh, look at this rough map and uh, if you're interested then make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for regular videos so without further ado let us begin uh, basically this is the chart of uh, lf0 a0 at the time of the recording so lf0 is priced at around dollar 0.7413 in uh, real time uh, at the time of recording this video basically and you can see the chart all-time chart it launched uh, back in january 2022 it had a rally that many projects have when starting out then it plummeted down around 0 0.69 something 0 0.68 and then it had a b small rally it then again came and s uh, tested the sup these support areas went back up uh, even broke this resistance uh, another resistance over here spiked up then it has since then dipped down plummeted yet again it is now 0 0.7419 it might come to test these support areas over here and uh, with the all-time lows as well guys so uh, make sure to stay alert uh, not financial advice though anything can happen it might go back up we do not know but i think it might come and test this out and even break it because it has come down since it's coming it's been coming down since a while so let's see where it, uh, where it goes anyways guys uh, the current market cap of uh, a0 is approximately 200 million dollars uh, volume is seven like 55,000 approx circulating supply is uh, 266 million I guess yeah one two three four five six seven eight yeah 266 million approximately and guys you can if, if you guys can see there is no max supply so there is an early inflation of 30 million uh, a0 tokens in the market which are released every year we're going to look at that as well why is that so why the team says that is uh, that uh, the reason for the inflation so stay tuned guys we're going to be checking that out as well before that we need to look at the website of lf0 this is the website blockchain minus the weight so what is this layer one and what makes it different build web3 apps that are as fast as legacy solutions lf0 enables teams to deploy scalable secure low cost and privacy enhanced products guys this is focused on privacy what makes it different is it has privacy private smart contacts con uh, contracts basically so this is focused on privacy featured in nasdaq the block coindesk excel point blockworks sifted my company yeah build fast benefit from a unique combination of our consensus protocol lfbft and inc the rust based wasm programming environment scale easy stake your a0 with a trusted network of validators or help scale lf0 and make it more secure for everyone involved by becoming one yourself validate and nominate deploy apps uh, 0 0.9 seconds time to finality 0 0.0003 a0 uh, uh, average cost per transaction so this is good it's the fees are low uh, accounts 66,261 main net validators 129 lf0 this is the ceo angel block uh, Alex Sturzen Sturzen I'm sorry for the pronunciation guys anyways lf0 is at the top of our, of our priority list it brings an exciting use case for us private fundraisers that could be attractive to enterprises that don't want to disclose the investment but would benefit from our smart contract based protection we're building a new take on blockchain infrastructure 
uh, applications under development. These are the applications with the mainnet launch LF0 has seen a notable initial adoption within the end developer community. Our flexible environment will be familiar for builders who are already accustomed with, uh, accustomed with Rust and, uh, and the sub substrate stack. So this is the e ecosystem partners, developers, venture funds, builders. These are the projects uh, that are under development in A0, Pangea, blockchain-based content pro, uh, pr platform, Inkwell, Art0, Common, A0 Punks, Liminal. Uh, I have r r uh, seen Liminal before, so let us check what this is. Liminal is LF0's native multi-chain privacy enhancing technology, okay. I've read about Liminal in the in one of the articles of uh, A0. Liminal is LF0's native multi-chain privacy enhancing technology. As an outgrowth of LF0, Liminal offers added security and privacy measures while also serving as a portal to other blockchains. Transactions will be supported between platforms with bridges to LF0 such as Terra, Ethereum, Cosmos, Polkadot, and others. Okay. So uh, let us head down. Curious about upcoming network upgrades. Go to the roadmap. Okay, let us check the roadmap as, as well. Driving Web3 adoption. Uh, so th this is this is an enterprise enterprise ready blockchain, guys. So uh, it 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 uh, is aiming for adoption adoption. DNS databases, game assets, transparent public document access, automatic text payment. LF0 bridges the gap between scalability, security, developer friendless, and cost of use. LF0 is designed to care for the environment, environmental friendly community of over 100,000 people. A0 Wallet, A0 Explorer, familiar, familiarize yourself with the LF0 Explorer launched in collaboration with sub, Subscan. A0 Utility, learn up more about the utility and economics behind A0, LF0's native uh, token. Be future ready. Okay, uh, this is the Explorer, guys. Let us check this out. Subscan. This is A0 Explorer, finalized blocks, signed extrinsics, staked, bonded. Check this out, holder 68,525, transfers, inflation rate, you can check this out. This is basically the circulating and this is 28.8% is investing phase. Anyways, this is the roadmap in progress. Account Explorer, validator elections, basic smart contract capabilities nomination pools okay basic node up update mechanism basic smart contract templates metas metamask snap uh, integration validator dashboard liminal 1.0 on chain zk snark proof verification ZK, zk is no, uh, zero knowledge uh, polygon is leading the zero knowledge at the moment in terms of market cap the foundations committee role smart context ruling private token standard liminal 2.0 private smart contracts engine okay lf0 moving to full community governance liminal liminal 3.0 mpc based general smart contracts private applications first private applications deployed on the mainnet including private dex and private governance systems okay so guys uh, let us look at the inflation mechanism, why uh, many people said that uh, uh, LF0 is not a good project because of the inflation. Uh, it, has, uh, ma it, is not, it does not have a fixed supply. So let us check, check what, what the answer of the LF0 team is. Inflation is the boogeyman of economics, almost always seen in a negative light. This isn't always the case. Though, as inflation is a crucial element for maintaining sustainable growth, as we will soon learn through the description of LF0's inflation mechanism, in the past few weeks we've received numerous queries regarding the inflation mechanism in the LF0 ecosystem, and today we want to dive deep into how inflation makes staking possible for the broader ecosystem in proof-of-stake blockchain protocols. A certain group of users called validators and nominators are responsible for the system's functioning, Validators verify the truthfulness of the transactions, whereas nominators vouch for the validator's honesty. Both groups okay, involved must take their tokens. We know this. We want to learn why do we need it.
why do we need healthy inflation in traditional capital markets a controlled influx of capital into the circulating supply provokes consumers to buy now rather than wait because they are aware of the potential price growth that is lurking around, lurking around the corner in the context of the blockchain ecosystems many of the same arguments apply lf zero's token supply will be supplemented by 30 million tokens per year at least until that number is voted to be increased or decreased by the decentralized governance and i think it's going to be decreased uh, decreased as uh, uh, as far as i know the crypt crypto community now let's go through the multiple reasons for introducing the inflation the basic arguments firstly the nodes securing the chain that is validated so need to be incentivized to do so and the rewards for the work are procured by increasing the circulating token supply. Secondly, the nominators need to be remunerated as well as they play a similarly important role in securing the system by choosing the more trusted validators over the less trusted ones. The advanced arguments, the ecosystem is in its entirely benef uh, in its entirely benefit through the constant constant influx of funds into the treasury currently 10 percent of the 30 million tokens that are dedicated to maintaining inflation will be redirected to the treasury per year these funds will benefit the lf0 blockchain as they will be spent on ecosystem growth ensuring the constant development of the network so guys this inflationary mechanism is there to fund according to the team to fund uh, the lf0 blockchain as it will be used for the ecosystem growth uh, the 10 percent at least uh, one of the economic arguments for maintaining a healthy dose of inflation can be attributed to the fact that because it is distributed among stakers, its existence provides an incentive for long-term holders and reduces the risk of panic token, panic token sales in the face of the ever-changing market conditions. Stake tokens have a two-week unbonding period. Besides helping to choose trustworthy validators, staking can be seen as an act of faith in the token. Uh, as this practice makes it impossible to engage in quick sell-offs such as lockups are very beneficial for the token economy and should be incentivized so guys the inflation is uh, incentivizing the stakers to stake the tokens and uh, this would bu build the trust in the economy in the token in the coin in the coin the economy treasury invested tokens as mentioned before 30 million tokens are being introduced into the current circulating supply of tokens per year okay okay uh, we get it. So keeping infl inflation under control, the coin economics mechanism at the heart of the LF0 blockchain ensures that inflating the circulating supply of A0 token serves only to further the best interests of the community and the network we are collectively building. We are confident that the solutions adopted thanks to our involvement with the substrate will guarantee a responsible and safe policy to help uh, us avoid inflation's negative impacts. Moreover, do keep in mind that this number is subject to change as soon as decentralized governance is in place. So guys, you checked uh, this out that LF0 team says that the inflation mechanism is there to enhance the economy, the, the ecosystem of LF0, as well as incentivize stakers and uh, to use them for the ecosystem growth and they want to uh, negate the inflation's negative impacts as well they'll try their best to negate them and uh, there's a decentralized governance coming uh, as well which might decrease the uh, early inflation as well so uh, we have to see what where this goes so this is yet uh, another white paper of lf0 let us just skim through it what lf0 is all about what it is doing different lf0 is a privacy enhancing public blockchain based on an original peer reviewed consensus protocol and an integration with the substrate stack it solves the shortcomings of current distributed ledger technology platforms such as speed validation time scalability and security we see lf0's protocol as a masterpiece in privacy preserving distributed ledger technology development the the key the word that I'm reading everywhere is privacy, privacy, privacy. They're dealing with privacy. This allows enterprises to build decentralized. Okay, with wide range of potential applications, LF0 can operate as a public ledger as well as a private instance collect connected to the public ledger. This allows enterprises to build decentralized projects that benefit from the speed and security of a public DLC platform while still being able to preserve the privacy of their transactions. These are the core features, scalability up to 100,000 TPS in a fully decentralized system in a test simul simulation of sample. Uh, uh, keep in mind the uh, result of test simulation sometimes is uh, sometimes changes with the mainnet launch. Anyways, with 112 nodes spread across the five continents, peer-reviewed, the LF0 consensus protocol has been officially peer-reviewed and accepted 
uh, for publication in the Conference Proceedings of Advances in Financial Technology 2019, near free value transfer transactions 0.003 A0, decentralized, while LF0 is DAG based, it implements a large rotating and random committee to achieve decentralization. Guys, uh, one more thing that differentiates LF0 as I read this paper that it is deploying the it is a, a hybrid between a dish, uh, traditional blockchain and a DAG based solution common wallet and uh, decentralized exchange DAX private smart contracts this is also something new private smart contracts uh, I do not know if there are other blockchains with private smart contracts enlighten me in the comments if there is any customized functionality for automation and programmable contracts, hub and spoke model, sync your application to LF0's ledger, file storage, application programming interface, hooks that allow seamless integration into interplanetary fill system as well as property data, data uh, solutions. So yeah, guys, this is the white paper, the ecosystem, LFBFT consensus, a novel DAC pro protocol, LF0 cloud, decentralized file storage, private smart contracts, scalable self-executing uh, private smart contracts, common decentralized exchange with a trustless universal wallet, liminal multi-chain privacy layer usable across all networks that bridges to that bridges to LF0 future infra infrastructure use case, project, foundation, products, protocol, quine. Uh, yeah, guys, why we are building so look into this uh, uh, white paper as well. Uh, uh, so this, what makes it different? Privacy, security, scalability, speed, cost. These are all the challenges, privacy challenge, security, speed challenge. Okay, we aim to solve these challenges with uh, what with that use the DAG architecture as an intermediary data structure. Okay. No, well, the team, the team behind LF0 aims to solve the above challenges by combining the consensus protocol with the substrate stack and reducing an original software-based privacy layer on top of their network use cases. So it has both DLT and smart contract systems provide exceptional and value propositions, notably regarding governance of the complicated mixture of assets, data, and equity that has become part of everyday life in a modern society. Internet of Things, smart contracts, supply chain management, virtual game assets, uh, universal wallet and decentralized exchange, decentralized domain name system, asset digitization, a notary signatory, transparent public document access, automatic tax payments. So these are the use cases of uh, LF0 databases, automatic payments and shared revenue agreement public or private responsibility of use cases. Although many blockchain enthusiasts see this technology as the ultimate cure for almost any problem and many would like to, uh, many would like to see their protocols as having the potential to be used in any case, we prefer to think about the used cases of LF0 reasonably. Okay, so guys, check this out. This is a 31 page uh, white paper as well. We skimmed through it. If you're interested, you can deep dive as well. These are the partners and investors, check them out. Um, Black Dragon, Quine Bar, Crypto Valley. So yeah, guys, we scrutinized LF0. Uh, well, the inflation model, the white paper, what is it all about, the use cases, the utility, what makes it different, uh, the use uh, enterprise ready, it is enterprise ready as well, the privacy layer using DAG and traditional uh, system, the mechanism. So why, why the inflation mechanism, why the answers to it, so guys this was it for the video if you like the videos then make sure to share like and subscribe and if you're interested in utility coins uh check this rough road map out the rough map out uh, we discuss these coins regularly as well as other potential gems like we did in this video so if you're interested in any of them then make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for regular videos so guys like i say in the end until next time Stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, folks.